All right, last part of the die cuts for this card are the deer. So we are going to die cut them here. I have them all ready. And they've already moved on my plate here. Put my cardstock on. And for this, I'm just using a scrap piece of cardstock in kind of a deer color. Alright, so my die cuts to the side there, move my machine, take them out of the dies. Oh, that one actually came out much easier than I thought. Use your die pick if you have a piece of paper that sticks in there. to the side here. Any little bits that have stuck in there you want to poke out before we go to the next step. There we go. So my deer are ready. Now I could put them on here as is. I wanted them to have a little bit of dimension though so I'm going to take an ink pad and some ink and just ink around the edges and give them a little bit more interest, a little bit more dimension. They tend to just look a little bit more interesting this way. And really, if you wanted, you could do that to the mountains and the hills and the trees and stuff like that. But I kind of think there's a limit to it. And I think by just doing it to the deer, they kind of um, pop out a little bit more, in my opinion. All right, so I'm going to put the one with the antlers down first. Because I definitely want him in that clearing. So I'm putting them in the clearing, but I kind of want them towards the center of the card. They don't necessarily have to be dead center, but I do want them to be the focal point of my card. And again, you'll notice I'm only adding glue to the bottom so that I'm not having adhesive to the back here. There we go, put them somewhat close together. I didn't have them touching. You could put it so that one head is in front of the other, but I left it like that. So I'm going to leave those deer to dry. And while they're drying, I'm going to get some stickles, which is the glitter glue. And I'm going to just add a little bit of sparkle to the snow in the mountains. Now I'm not putting it on the entire white part for the mountains. I'm only basically adding it to the top part, kind of where any sun would hit. I'm one of these people that less is more. So I think by adding just a touch, it adds a highlight to it. Whereas if you were to go and um, completely cover that white in stickles and the glitter glue, I think it would be too much. And really I'm doing this towards the end of the card. It would be much easier to do it as you're working, especially if you're doing several of these cards, doing them in layers and then adding the stickles as you're letting the glue when you assemble them dry. But sometimes, especially if you add, oh, I should put some up here. Especially if you add your stickles a little bit too thick, sometimes it takes a really long time to dry and I didn't want to be waiting too, too long for it to dry. So just a little bit on there, and then that can dry, and there we go. We've got two different versions of the same card. Again, the only difference is the different colors of cardstock that we have die cut, but the great part about that is that you can make your card kind of go with whatever season you want. This one here, I also added some glitter to the, the trees. This one here, I didn't. I can absolutely go back and add them. Once I did this, I didn't really think it added too much to the trees. It's a personal preference thing again. But you could do this as a winter card, you could do this as a masculine card, birthday card, that sort of thing. There we go. We're all done. <laughs>